I'm Madman Pondo, and what kind of idiot are you that you're not tuning in to the World of K-Fame podcast? Do it now, or else. Hey, we're hey. live now this time. <laughs> and we're live! And we're Welcome live. to we're gonna try this again because our lovely producer fucked up. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of <laughs> World of Cancer Podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, Joey. I'm your host, your tribal king, Nick Venom, along with my two good friends. The man himself, the one man that buys Nia Jax merch off a of WWE shop. Yeah, but guess oh, who's the Nia the Jax is back! And we got the one, the only, your favorite podcast is podcast. Because, you know, he's too cool for us. He hangs out with the other kids now. We got the one, <laughs> the only, Dan the mother effing man. And can speak to his by his actions. You hear his voice, but he's not really here. We have the professor, Staggerly Crocker, but he's audio only because my man's uh, COVID mania is running wild on him. So, <laughs> dang, dude, this cold. <laughs> like that. I, I've, I've always wanted to say COVID mania. Anyway, COVID mania. COVID mania is running wild on him. It really is. Yeah, but anyway, dude. let's try this one more time. Joe, are you good in the production truck? Nah. <laughs> I don't think he's doing too good. And it, makes it, it makes it funnier because you can't see Joey. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let me Nick, you're frozen. <laughs> oh, we man. did that last week with Robbie, by the way. Oh, God. So Robbie, so um, Robbie moved into his brand new like trailer and everything. And he's down. still trying to. Yes, truck. Thank you, Deke. Truck. We, he was trying to, like, I guess, use a mobile hotspot on his phone, right? And sure enough, uh, he froze at the right time. We finally got it. And <laughs> Nick was so Nick happy. Was... You should have seen it. LMAO. What the... um, I don't know what that means, but whatever. By the way, before we get started, I want to send a special shout out to my homie Jeff. It's his birthday today. Happy Jeff, birthday, brother. Wish that, wish that man a happy birthday. He's celebrating a great birthday and all that good stuff. Finally getting to frozen someone else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you ain't never lying, dude. <laughs> but that's another thing. I'm glad Deke's on, in the chat because we got to talk about that that Mexican show, which was... Oof. Yeah, how was that Lucha show? When we we'll get, we'll to, get that. to that I'm in just a little bit. But, yeah, yeah uh, I want to send a special shout-out to my boy Jeff. Jeff is one of our supporters of what a KP. Hey! <laughs> There we go. That's for double dip, Davy. No, no, no. That's happy birthday, dummy. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm taking the ice cream. Oh my god, we want to make you the this. dummy of the night. Shit. <laughs> can't, can't yeah, the Jeffrey Rhodes' birthday is today, so y'all, y'all tell him happy birthday in the chat. Also, he is hooking me up with a, uh, I guess, one of the promotional posters of WWE 2K24, which I'm gonna be honest, it's a great game. Yeah, I fucking love it. Like the story mode, I feel is where it's at for me. Like the uh, really? right now, I'm doing the undisputed right now. It's really good so far. Really, I'm a heel, so I'm working with the Miz of all people. I gotta jump into it more. I just got, I just took the GameStop poster today. They gave me the poster from the window, so I got that giant poster that was sitting in the front. Oh, yeah, Cody? Jeff, yeah. Jeff has yeah. two of them, and uh, he has one. And he's like, I'm going to just give it to you. I'm like, dude, hell yeah. No, it's in, in the, somewhere in the game room. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at the Penta stuff and that, that might come down. I mean, not necessarily come down, but give, I'm give. not taking it down. I still can stay in Austin. <laughs> I'm taking that down. <laughs> if you want, you want, you want, you want Stone Cold Steve Austin to get off the wall? Ah, ah. That'd be oh, sad. I would rearrange it, man. What the hell? I mean, I wouldn't mind it, but I don't know. 
it, it does need a, a nice renovation or whatever. Yeah. Spring cleaning. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. A little bit. Or summer cleaning because we're almost in summertime. But uh, Braves got a great victory over uh, over the good old Boston Red Sox. Five done nothing after we got our asses handed to us right. by, the, by the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, San Diego Dodgers. No, Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah, Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> they trash. You know what? Fuck you, Joey. They trash, bro. Joey's having too much fun in the in the production booth. <laughs> He's hey. having way too much fun up in there. Hey, I yeah, wonder Austin if that Red person, Sox. Fuck them. I, I right. wonder if that uh that person's gonna join chat tonight. What was it? The uh that was ragtagging me week before last. Uh Joey, do you remember what his name was? Cino Ollie's. Cino Ollie's. Yeah, Cino Ollie's. Cino Ollie's. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Hey, Vladimir Koloff, get off here. <laughs> I've already, okay, look, I've already I've already established it now, Nick. I'm Krusty Krab, and Vladimir Koloff is my greatest arch nemesis, okay? So he's oh, Plankton? Yeah. I love him, dude. Yeah. So is he? So you say? So I'll be seeing him this Saturday. Tell him Krusty Krab said, "Hey, video, video, make a video. Tell him Krusty Krab said, what's up?'" Hey, fuck you, Krusty Krab. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, this is gonna be a great episode. Us three idiots and the one other guy in a production in a production truck. Right. <laughs> anyway, but no. Um. So the so that. Mexican show, the Lucha show. It was a little bit overwhelming. It, it really was. I'm not gonna lie. Like, really, me and Deek, we went out. Uh, we went out and we went checking out. And we had a good time, but my boy Braxton Hunter, which by the way, he, he has been on the show. Go check him out. If you want to check that out? Check that episode out. It's on YouTube. Can't miss it. Um. He was wrestling. He wrestled uh, Simon Phillips. I don't know if you got if you guys watch PW two two five Unleashed, but he's been mm-hmm. on PW two two five Unleashed. Uh, they had a damn good match, and there was like two kids that wouldn't shut the fuck up at all. <laughs> like it was fucking hard. Jeff was there, and Jeff was laughing his ass off the entire time because he knows, like, oh my god, like I know Nick is just. Not having it. And mind you, I have my Laporca mask on. No, it wasn't Let's Go Brandon. It was it was Brian. Yeah, they kept saying, instead of Braxton Hunter, it's Brian Hunter. And it's Brian like, Hunter. It's not that. And it's like, oh my God, it was ridiculous. It was so ridiculous. But overall, what they were trying to do, they were trying to gain a new type of demographic, right? They were trying to set up a story, like, not so much story. They were trying to just do something different, I guess, but it is what it is. I even corrected them, so so did Nick. Oh, yeah, we corrected, we corrected them multiple times. And it's like, he still kept saying, let's go Brandon. Oh, no, let's go Brandon. Let's go Brian. And all that. What are you doing? Me? No, Dan. No, oh, me my TV. I'll be my TV. Good lord. And then now my camera's out of focus. God damn it. But yeah, so. <laughs> the fudge. Now, now, now I'm on this side. Now I'm going to have to get Joey to move me. Oh my gosh. Move me and Dan. There we this, go. Thank this you. This podcast going off the rails already. Oh yeah, this I is know. Gonna be a hell, this all, is gonna be a hell of a way, podcast. All the way, Jack. Though in this a hell of a podcast. So yeah. Uh, also, Davey is no, he's not the dummy of the night. I thought about calling him the dummy of the night, but I'm not gonna do that. Pregnant. I thought about. It. But that will be dedicated to him. <laughs> oh, double dip, Davey. Joey's just having a good time right now. Oh no, he's yeah. having a blast. He knows he can't be seen. Joey he, wilding yeah, out in the shadows. Joey wilding out in the shadows. <laughs> yeah, so it was it was pretty cool to say the least. My camera's out of focus. Fuck it. Screw it. I don't care. 
Yeah, you're a bit blurry. Fuzzy. You, you think? Focus, dude. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, boys. We had Backlash. Backlash in Lyon, France. Which, by the way, had the greatest crowd ever. Uh, by far, ever. They were literally chanting for two. After two, they were chanting. Some ridiculous stuff, but it was awesome. Did you hear that? Uh, I got annoyed the, uh, by it after they said two. They kept doing some shit. Did and you hear the crowd, like, was uh, so, the crowd was so loud that people were getting notifications on their watches saying that the sound decibels were so high that oh, they yeah. would experience hearing loss. So Holy that God. begs the question, are they going to do more PLEs? You know, internationally, instead of just. I hope so. That well, would be great. I know Joey talked about it. I think at one point, but Triple H came out and said that more than likely they will be doing more. Yeah, you know, yeah. More, more of them as time goes by. Now the question is, what we don't know. I, I can the report. Oh, I think I think he knows now. I I can put some input on this because there's some recent recent uh, news well, that came out about this. Uh, the Saudi Arabian president of the sports out there in Saudi Arabia says mm -hmm. that he's interested to get Royal Rumble and WrestleMania in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I'm not down with Wait, it. Wait, what'd you say? Me then? neither. I'm play phenomenal in France, dude. Yeah, I, I, I they don't were know. going. They were going. Here. I don't think they they should. You're go you're kind of you're kind of going a little bit overboard, but like. I wouldn't mind seeing WrestleMania going across the pond, you know, say yeah. like London, maybe, or not London, but like, um, I don't know. Dude, fucking do it in Wembley Stadium. That would yeah. be badass. Yes. If, Take that, Tony Khan. I'm going to lie. Yeah. lie. That would be such a... That would be it would be a, a slap in the face. It would be a slap in the face. In the face. <laughs> when it comes down to freaking AEW, they're like, oh, you did this many fans? Let me show you what we can do with two nights. Yeah. I won, but two nights. Tony Khan's going to be in his office in Jacksonville because he can't leave fucking Jacksonville. So he's got to basically, you know, all that shit. Snort cocaine. Uh, yeah. By the way, they did have Royal Rumble in uh, in Saudi Arabia. It was the greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah. We saw the birth of a meme. The tightest slide. The tightest slide, even though it was kind of fake. Uh, the Saudis have money, though. Money talks. Remember, new owners, new vision. The Rock already said they want to take this worldwide. Like I said, I mean, I wouldn't mind having WrestleMania. I wouldn't mind having WrestleMania going global. You know what I mean? Like, hey, let's do it. And... Do it. Does somebody slip on a banana peel? They just, just going to be doing, they just going to be doing, they just going to be That would be like, cool. They're going to be doing like pop-up shops everywhere, just with merchandise everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Partnership with New Japan. It, I, it makes sense, though, after what happened this but, past, this past uh, Saturday. What? With the bloodline. Oh, you saw like, yeah. a new member. Oh, which, by the way, Oh boy, we were all fucking wrong. Yes, we were. We, were we all, all wrong. Fucking wrong. We all what? thought Jacob Fatu was coming out. We never knew. We slept on it. It went right past us. Tama, not Tama. Tango Loa. Tonga Loa. Tonga <laughs> whatever his name is. Like Tonga Loa <laughs> is now the newest member of the Bloodline. What are your thoughts, Nick? Nick let me ask you a quick, quick, quick question. And this is part of my thought, too. When did we ever, ever think up, Kylie? we would see the Gorillas of Destiny in WWE? It's a wild fever dream, I tell you that. Bro. I mean, them against the Usos. There's your dream match right there. The dream match you never thought you have. Hell yeah. And, we got a, and now we have a panda in the, in the, in the, in the chat. But let me, ask, let me ask you a question, Nick, since you said that. If we ever got G.O.D. versus the Usos, would they let them come out to Ain't Nobody Realer Than Gorilla? That would be fucking cool. I think that would be pretty sick if they can carry That's the why theme, I think, like... But they can't, they can't use the lyrics. I mean, obviously, because it's cut. it was still cutthroat era. 
Well, they probably could use. They the, probably could. They probably, they probably could, could get the rights. They could definitely probably get the rights to to God. It yeah. would make sense. Like right now, like they don't have anything for Tama in the sense of song, and they yeah. probably waited for Tonga to come to come in. So right. now they got both of them there. Now they're just gonna. Probably and you can't have one without the other. You just no, right. Can't. But now the speculation is Hukaleo. Yeah, Hukaleo I was just about to say to be, the other yeah, one. His contract ends in June. So then. And they don't have restrictions on like, you know, we got to wait 90 days after your contract expires. He can just jump immediately yeah, just, right after that. Yep. So the question is now, where's the possibility of him jumping in? Where's yeah. Jacob? And then and, and Joey probably can contest Disney this Godzilla. too. Godzilla. Right. Yep. Like Joey probably they're still can coming. this thing. They're coming. There's no I, way. That I know they're, they're coming. coming. Oh, yeah. They're going to happen. This, the is, this will is now, probably <laughs> The oh no! Is now it's, it's the dude, professor. It's an AI the professor. professor. Yeah. There's our special field correspondent. Oh my god! The o the only thing I think is because they said today that they're scared to bring out Jacob right now because he might overshine. The old solo thunder in a way. Yeah, which I don't think it would outshine you. I mean, if anything, you technically got outshined simply by the fact that Tama had a good match. You know his first match in WWE. Yeah, really Tom good match. Came in. Very good. We've you noticed know. a couple of headshots though. Did you notice yeah. that? Yeah, it was a few hit. Oh, but now Joe is in Nitro. Okay, yeah. elaborate on the the headshots. Like what happened? Orton hit Solo with in the head. The trash can. Really? It Tama. No, it was Tama. Really? He hit him in the head. He hit him in the head. You think they're you think they're loosening up on headshots a little I bit? I think so. It's possible. It's very or possible. Least or at least they're letting them try to protect more. Fucking a. Probably yeah. I wouldn't mind Bring seeing that more. You know what I mean? Bring it. Like now that we're in a new era, a lot, a lot of change is happening. You know what I mean? Smaller set, obviously, which is awesome because, look, I like. I don't mind the the big. Fancy lights and shit, but like, I like where this is at. Yeah, it's simple. The, 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 these are way better sets, and they're not like a hundred foot Titan Trons. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I like the little small narrowed down wall. And, and, and I just it makes it feel big. And I just wanted to announce that we've gotten rumors that Lex Luger will be coming over to WCW from the WWF. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet so. <laughs> <laughs> that's our road. That, that's really good to know, buddy. Proper. You never looked any better. <laughs> hey, when hey, when he's got this little thing, he's called a roving reporter. A roving reporter. No, I, I, I'm excited though to see like with how. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Tonga almost messed up with yes. his, with his, like he almost missed the entire cue. You seen the referee slid back. Just so he can make sure he gets grabbed out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ref dove back. Yeah. Like, hey, grab my foot. Like, pull me something. <laughs> like, dude, well, like, hey, I was let me, so hey, mad. Hey, let, me, let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. And I'm not saying it's 100% his fault, but do you think that crowd was so loud that he couldn't hear his cue? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. More than likely, More yeah. More than likely. It had to have been. There, there's no way. Somebody was down there with him to tell him, hey, bro, go, you gotta get like, out. Hey, it's your cue. Let's go. Like, move. Yeah. So, no, but I'm. Now, here's my thing. Being that Tongalo is in here, we know who Hikaleo is gonna be moving over. We we pretty right. much can say he's gonna move. Jacob is right. stunned. The question is when, we don't know. Zilla, I talked, I personally talked to Zilla. Now and he's already said like WWE is like pretty much on his neck trying to sign him fairly soon once he gets Bro, some. More. Not to huh? cut you off, not to change the subject or anything, or not what? to not to go off key. It would be cool to have Zillow on the podcast. Fucking a, it would. Since since you're like really cool with him now, I can talk to him. He's he's here this weekend again. He's got, actually I might be going down there again. If you don't know, if you're in Texas. Houston specifically. Uh, Houston's got, of course, reality of wrestling. And you'll be seeing not only the Fatu wrestle, but you'll also be seeing Mr. NXT, the king himself, Lexius King. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. My way or the highway. highway. So Lexius King is going oh, to be wrestling this weekend. The theme. 
I hate the I hate the character. I do. Really? I I actually is growing on me. It, to, to slide on to the subject of this. I'm actually I see what you did there, you son of a bitch. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I'm just saying he's not bad. It's not that bad. It, at, again. First, at first, at first, I was kind of like, all right, this kind of like, but like this is not a good thing. I think right. now the only thing that messes me up with him is that he needs a freaking new finisher. Like I, I hate his finisher. It's terrible. Yeah, his finisher's ass. His finisher's <laughs> trash. It's, it's it's just a trash finisher. But I. I don't see him staying with Lexi as King for long. I do see him apparently going the route of where his dad went. He's gonna go the deranged, just, just mind. Ironic. Yeah, he's just gonna go it's off only the a matter of time. There's no way you you can't run and hide from it. You're gonna do it, right? It's especially only a matter of time, especially with where they're going with the shows. Like, where are they going with the whole, hey, we're not PG no more. Like you said, we're taking headshots left and right. We're going to have blood on the show. We're going to be cussing left and right. He's going to drop yeah, this little gimmick. bitch. Right. He's, he's yeah. going to drop the gimmick, and he's going to go straight to his dad's persona immediately right after. If he gets even though, Even though he said he'll never do it. He's oh, going we to. all know he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Like, There's if no- you watch the Dark Side of the Ring episode with Brian Pillman, you know, his... his Junior was on there. He's like, "Yeah, I'm not doing. It. I'm not. I'm not doing loose cannon gimmick. Like, that was my dad's gimmick. I can't. I can't do it. I can't perfect it. Whatever. I got my own thing going on. And you know, rightfully so. And some people are cool with that. But then you got people like us who grew up on the Attitude Era and realize how great Brian Pillman really was. This Senior is former was. World Wrestling Federation super. Yeah, that too. And yeah. <laughs> and that completely Sorry. messed me up. Sorry about that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, but uh, but no, but it's only a matter of time. But the direction that WWE's going with this new era, this new, just everything brand new. I wouldn't be surprised if NXT has a whole new facelift. You know what I mean? Gotta get away from the whatever they were doing and go back to. Well, they were before, or if going a whole completely different direction, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Tyler Rex was spotted backstage in NXT, hinting at possibly. Oh, I just thought about that. Hinting yeah. oh, yeah. at possibly signing as a transgender female. What are your thoughts on the impact of that on the women's division? I mean, if it happened, it happened in AEW. We got Nyla Rose. Yeah. We got Nyla Rose. Yeah, but apparently now, uh, did you hear the shit that uh, AEW got into for Nia Jax wrestling in yeah. Alabama? Nia Jax, Nia, Jax. Nia Rose? No, 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 Nia Rose. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. I apologize. That's crazy. Now, now look who place. has Nia Jax on their mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, guess oh, what? Snap. Nia Jax is back. I will say this. Nia Jax is going to lose a little bit of weight. Out, I don't know if y'all that, but she's going to okay. lose weight. Nia Jax is losing a lot of weight. Like yeah. I've seen her. I've seen her at a house show. The the house show I went to, where, where I got the shirt at. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, he got excited for a second. Of course, he yeah, did. exactly. Thank you, thank you, Joey. Um, thank you, Jeff. And it's like, thank you. Jeff. She thank got you. she got a lot smaller in some way. She's not like five hundred plus pounds anymore. No, not- Excuse, I'm sorry. I don't want to fat shame anybody. No, she's just not. She's not as round as she was when we first saw her. I will. Play. I will say this, and this may be controversial. Her wrestling's actually getting better. No, <laughs> it, it actually has. Like, like graciously, it really has. It has. It's 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 been a while since we heard a complaint of Nia Jax, of how you know now she's finally putting in the work. She finally she realized, like, hey. I'm getting all this heat online because, oh, I can't wrestle. Let's go do it. Yeah, her character overall is catching on, which is pretty good. Yeah. she she's Now it seems like she's worthy of the screen time versus right. when, when I mean, she's she still getting booed out the building. That's besides the point. Right, I mean, but, she, but at least it's not like we want you to literally get out it's of that here. X-Pac heat where it's like, yeah. get the fuck off my TV. You know right, I mean? yeah, no. It's like, hey, we can't stand you because you're the heel, but... I think you know, it's because... You got Triple H, 
that's just literally taking his time. Like, hey, look, you're doing this wrong. We want to send you back to the performance center, let you work on yourself, do what you got to do, and all that. Another one, Nakia Lyons, who, I'm going to be honest, drop dead, drop dead sexy, right? She can dance, she can shadow box a hundred fucking times. That's I can't remember shit. I don't care what anyone says. Y'all can, y'all can nuke me one. in the comments. <laughs> he she looks back great. quick on that one. Huh? <laughs> he came back as soon as you said Nikita. He was like, oh, shoot. Let me hurry up and get back on this one. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> let, 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 let me run. Oh, oh, oh. Elijah said, hey. Yeah, I, I, said I, I said it. I said it. I said it. But the thing is, though, it's like she can, she can dance. She can do any of that. But for some reason, the moment she wrestles, she gets injured. Could you uh, say she's like the next Kevin Nash if, in a way? Ooh, no. I said Dude. it. I don't care. That's rough. That That's a rough one. I'm sorry. You come back for literally, like, what was it, two weeks? And she's back injured. Well, I'll say this. I, You know, once you rip that yeah, exactly. tendon, it, it's hard to come back. It is After hard. After a big injury like that. Right. And the thing is that she's just naturally thick, which makes it even worse. So it's exactly. like she's carrying all this weight. And it's not her fault, really, per se, but she's carrying all that weight. I don't think she was properly healed all the way. That's just my thing. No. I don't think she was healed all the way through. Um, because at the same time, you saw Cora J. She got hurt. Exactly. Literally coming yeah. right back after all almost, the stuff that she did. I think they, I think they both got injured almost the same, close same to the same amount time. of time. So like yeah. they, so it, it's really I not heard, just the weight. I heard it was a rumor that Cora J was going to be the women's champ. She was going to be the one to dethrone uh, Lara Valkyria. Right, but they had which looked amazing on Raw, by the way. Just want to let y'all know. I'm until actually the Dakota, happy to be. Until Dakota I'm, surprised, damn near broke I'm happy, but I'm surprised that she got pushed up already. Like. Yeah, I was kind of shocked on that one. Like, don't get me wrong, I was expecting like a couple other people, but not Tyra Valkyria. Like, I wasn't expecting her to get moved up already. And the other one that Lyra. threw me off, Lara, not Tyra. Tyra, sorry, Lara. The other one that I got messed up on was um, what's the girl with the purse? And I can't think. Of oh, her name. Kiana James. Yeah, that one made no sense to me at all. Like, what did she do to get? Move that up. was yeah, that was like a complete swerve because obviously we're expecting like Elia dragging off to be drafted on Raw. I think after Which, he lost by the, the way, title, absolutely phenomenal. The past two oh matches, oh my he's been god, there. that freaking match with him and Ricochet though, like ah, Chef's Kiss. That match was great, but it made Ricochet very mad. Yeah, Jeff, very I, mad. I get that, but first of all, I think we all know. Cora Jade and Nikita Lions, or otherwise Nikita Lions, ain't losing their spots. Yeah. Shawn Michaels knows they're not like they're cash cow. I mean, right now. So I'll say this, and, and I kind of came off in a rude way, but I'll say this. Whenever she gets healed, get her some time. And I mean, I'm not saying Nikita knows how to wrestle. She's got wrestling experience. She was in Glow for a little bit. Or not Glow, she was in WoW. She was in WoW. She was in WoW, so she does have experience. Right. I just say sharpen up on the on those experience. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I think she's she's still green. I just but she just needs to come back completely healthy. Yeah, just like, don't come back seventy percent healed. Right, like that's what he's saying. Like they're rushing back from injury. No, don't rush this. Don't rush back into this. Dude, Cause like, because to me, honestly, she could have been if she was healed. She could have been the North, the women's North American champion because yeah. of just how much, just how much clout she got right now. Like she's she's everywhere, and not just that. I'm gonna also say this right now. This is a shoot. If the only reason why Roxanne Perez is holding that NXT Women's Championship right now. Is because Cora Jade's out. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason why Roxanne Perez is heel is because NXT needed a big heel as a champion. Right. And they don't really have the, a big Their heel. biggest heel was injured and still is injured to this day. Yeah. And so it's only a matter of time before she comes back, wrestles Roxanne Perez, takes the women's title, 
And guess what? Maybe it's time for Roxanne to join the main roster. You know what I mean? If she's Ooh. getting there, I would, well, not just It's only there, a matter of time. I think she's there already. So, I mean, if you guys are going to put yeah. Keanu James up, you got to put Roxanne up there. And I think that's like, why. Yeah, if you, exactly. If you draft Keanu, of all people, like, I'm with you on that one. Like, that was a complete swerve. I was not expecting that one, but and same he time. Said the same thing. Blair Davin. No, I don't think Blair. I don't think Blair no. shocked me. I was waiting for that to happen because Blair got too much experience under her belt to I be. I mean, yeah, she was NXT. she was all over. She was a WCP uh WCPW. Yeah, she defy. was on AEW for a minute, uh, but she wasn't signed. Or was she signed? Progress. She was in progress for a little bit. Yeah, she was all over the place. So, so like, yeah, she, no. That that, that one, I guess the reason why you would say that, Donnie, uh, I'm sorry, Deke, is the fact that she doesn't get enough exposure as she no. sh- as she should. No, she's like she'll come on for like a minute and then she'll disappear for like a few exactly. weeks. Exactly. What was the last right memorable back? thing? Exactly. Yeah. Anything. I mean, her pretty much her time in in United Kingdom. Not United Kingdom. Damn it. Uh, Empire. Yeah, yeah UK. Yeah, United she's, Empire. Yeah, United Empire. You know what I mean? And like her so, time with Tony Storm and like all that shit. Right. So let me ask you this now, since you're on that, since you're still on the subject of it. Yeah. Who do you think they're going to crown the women's North American champion? Who do you think is going to be the inaugural Ooh, champion? That's a tough one. Oh, me gusta. Because, <laughs> no, honestly, I thought, you know, if Nikki, like I said, Nikki Alliance was still here, I thought she would have been probably the one to do Yeah. It. I, I, yeah, I think, and the only reason why I said that is not because of wrestling ability. I think it's because of just the exposure, the she popularity, had. right? The it's popularity. Just yeah, I mean, that's she's multi talented. You know what yeah. I mean? She's yeah, with a lot. Of wrestling assets. is eh. with a lot of assets. Yeah, Joy. So, right about yeah. that. A lot of assets is right. Oh man, it's tough. If I had to pick a woman to win the North American Championship, the Women's North American Championship. You know what? I'm going to go with the dark horse. Gigi Dolan. Ooh. To cut, swerve everybody out of nowhere. That's right. Because she's been getting shafted for a long time. Oh, dude. I think it's she's time been for getting her to shine. screwed. Oh, left. yeah. She's getting screwed left and right. And to be honest, with all this release coming, like all this releasing that's going on, I'm surprised she has yet to not be released. Because of how much she's not being used, she's barely getting any TV time. But trip, but I think Sean doesn't want to let her go. No. Yes, and and Jeff, yeah, I I know Jordan Grace would be great. The problem is TNA is being a bunch of hoarders right now, and they don't Ooh. want to let go of nobody. Oh, uh, and there's multiple Deke, reasons why I refuse Deke, to watch TNA. No lie. So, so Ruka is absolutely a great choice, but they're not going to push that yet. No. I think they're going to, she still got to get a little bit of stuff underneath Dude, her. I belt. love her finisher, though. Her finisher is like super badass. Soul Snatcher is absolutely amazing. I just like hope that's, gonna, I put that as God tier. Like, that's, I just hope she's going to blow her back out by the time she's like 35. Oh, is that, oh, yeah. She'll be in a wheelchair <laughs> by 40, but yeah, no, like, man. I, I I I just love that finisher, bro. I love it. And by the way, I know you got the Ginyu Force on uh on your shelf. I got the Ginyu Force in the in the living room. Oh yeah, dude. No, I gotta keep the Ginyu Force locked in. Oh no, yeah, man. Like I I, I got I one honestly... from Comic Con. The other four I got online. So yeah, no, I had to find it from GameStop. I'm I'm gonna take. I think for me, it's a who's who, dude. It really is. Gigi's not a bad choice because it could swerve everybody. I'm not going to lie, though. I think they're going to push that girl. Um, was uh, what that boy's girlfriend name? The cute Lash one. Legend? No, 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 no. The um, Carmelo Hayes lady. Uh, oh, crap. What is her name? I can't think of her name right now. I'm I know you're talking off. about, though. That's not a bad one, either. The only reason why I say they'll push her is because, because don't get me wrong, she got talent. I think they're gonna push it because of Carmelo, and Carmelo right now has been like one of their golden child 
from NXT right now. Like, yeah. He's one of the golden. He's one of and the. He was the kids. first one to get drafted to SmackDown, so that tells you something right there. Right, they go. Man's got it. talent, and uh, apparently, apparently, he was in the independent circuit. Never realized that. Oh yeah, never knew that. No, I I knew him from the independent scene first, and he was going by kind of like a different name at first. Right. But he was great there, and he's turned out even better here now. Dan, Meechin. who would you pick as oh, your? Fudge, I forgot about Meechin. Yeah, but Meechin's not. A... She's not. I mean, yeah, she could come to NXT. That makes sense, bit. though. I just forgot about that. Meechin did just get signed into it, so yeah, that makes sense. Okay, then, yeah, it'd probably be Meechin because she deserves it. She's been getting shafted too. See, I haven't been watching NXT. No, she I just get, yeah, she got rolled over to NXT along with the Good Brothers right now, which I can't look. All I'm gonna tell you this now, moving forward. I better see some Bullet Club something. Yeah. I need Bullet Club something. I don't care what it yeah, is. Because now you got all the original, well, except for Bad Luck Fale, you have but almost all you, the original members of the Bullet Club in the Literally, league. in one. Literally, room. you have the two leaders, first two leaders, well, correction, first three leaders, Carl Anderson, Fergal Devitt, or, Brent, or Finn Balor, and AJ Styles. You literally got those three guys in there. You know what I mean? But anyway. But they have been mentioned in Bullet Club, though. They've been saying Bullet Club. And it's like, kudos to Michael Cole. And I love the little shit. Basically, when Tama made it, whenever he came in, whenever he showed up, did the match, he was like, oh, he's a he's a never weight. He's a, a open weight champion, former open weight champion, multiple time IWGP. Uh, tag team champ was part of the Bullet Club. Blah 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 blah. blah. So I like little things like that. It just makes me feel good, and it's like yeah. it makes me feel really good that Michael Cole can just talk freely on the mic. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's no longer Vince McMahon screaming in his damn <gasps> ears and everything. It's no longer that. You can tell it's that awesome. they're having. You can tell that they're having fun. Exactly. Like yeah, look at Pat McAfee. McAfee yeah. and Cole. That's just. It gives me Taz that, and Cole vibes, but yeah, so it can go. I know Cole's on his way out because he's only got, I think, a few more years, honestly. But they could be the new Jr. and and King Law and King, which unfortunately, of course, if you guys don't know about that, King is technically we're gonna call it retired yeah. from WWE. Yeah, but. He's, He's got a legends contract, but his commentary days and storyline yeah. days are far behind him. Yeah, yeah, it's it's done. It's, it's over. After he's become two PG. Long, long, long on the days of <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and so all no, that I shit. Just, I just looked at I just looked at the list of the women that's in this tournament because I forgot there was a tournament qualifying. So I'm Thea, a pick. So, Soul Thea, Jada Parker, mm-hmm. Brentley Reese. Mm-hmm. Meechin. Uh, Meechin, Fallon, Lash, Ivy Neal, Izzy Dane. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's the girl that was with Kiana. Uh, Kalani Jordan, that's her name. That's yeah, that's her name. Kalani I, Jordan. I, I think Kalani. Uh, T- Tatum and when uh, I, I, mi- please correct me if I'm mispronouncing his name. When uh Sinclair, all oh, the names picked, they did a combined LOL. Yeah, they so, did, literally did a combine the other night. And that in that in that group, I feel Fallon, why not? Fallon, why not? I I wouldn't mind picking Fallon, but yeah, Mi Chen, you know. Why Fallon though? I don't even know her. Oh, wait, never that's mind. The, yeah, that's the girl that was part of that bar group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, and, uh, I don't think they're gonna push her. I don't Ah uh, no 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 no, it's gonna it's gonna come down to Kalani Jordan, Jada Parker, Last Legend, Meechin, and and Meechin and Jada Parker. That's the four. But then you also got Tatum, which and Thea Hall. Thea Hall has been moving around. Thea Hale, Thea Hale. Yeah. No, uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> why, you, so why, you hate on the, why you hate Hall, man? Come on. She's great. No, dude. I, yeah, make it a lot. That's a damn good idea, Dick. 
I was just about to get on that. So the inaugural North American Championship match was a ladder match. And boy, that was a great ladder match in New Orleans. Take over New Orleans. Yes. Thanks for the best. I man, I remember those. Those were good. Those hey, were so really, much fun. Hey, really? Oh, quick. so it is gonna be a six man. Yeah, or six woman. That's yeah. good. Good. Good deal. See, I haven't been watching D. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't keep I've been, I've been, I've been kind of, I've out. been kind of sidetracked on NXT lately. Like I'll be watching it for a minute, and then I get off of it, and then I miss some of it, and then I come back again. So I've been, I've been kind of backtracking. But I am gonna watch Battlegrounds though. I want to check that out. That should be fun. Because it's going to be, I think, what, the UFC arena or something? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah, it's the UFC Apex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They is it a big things. arena or is it? No, it's like in the, like, it's not like MGM Grand, but it's like in their <laughs> UFC quote unquote performance center kind of thing, whatever they, they got going on. They, it's their own little thing they got. I'm excited to see what happens though, because I'm glad and I'm glad that they got a mid card title. Because now, yeah, it, it gives sense. them something else to fight for. Now, hopefully, hopefully, this this will push this will push the main roster to get something, right? Like a a mid card. Now the question is, are you going to make one? or are You going to make two? Yeah. Like, are you going to give two mid card titles? And SmackDown. One? I, I don't think they need two mid card titles. I think they just need one to like bounce over like the tag team titles. Uh, but I, I, I do, they do need something. Maybe like, I guess you can call it the women's intercontinental championship. Maybe. Oh, the hey. trio championship. I mean, look, look, I'm going to tell you. Or better yet, the banner weight. That would be nice. The banner weight, but it's strictly women. Right. That would be the, nice. the women's I, banner I weight need, championship. I need trios though. Like or featherweight. I, I think I think that's what the UFC term is for them is uh, featherweight. I'm I'm dying to get some some trios championships in WWE. It's been a long time since we had them. Like yeah, really, it's oh, been a, a damn good while. Damn, it's I been know. since nineteen. Like oh, the logo Dan's face is just priceless. By the way. Uh, I'm, I'm, that, he's got that just that dazed and confused look going on. I have FMW on in the background. Oh yeah, and I'm watching. And Joey, what we say about that? By the way, what we say about dazed and confused? I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey Sneak, you asked me this question a while back. Is this good, Dr Pepper creamy coconut? Pretty fucking legit. Okay, if there was ever an appropriate time to play that PG brother, or I don't know if that's PG, that would be right now. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ran. Hey, yo! <laughs> what the fudge? What the fuck was that? God damn it. <laughs> We're so, getting the uh, speed our, title soon. Our, no, we our don't. Producers, our producers in his brand new produ- production booth. So he's kind of having way too much fun in there. So he said, "Fuck y'all, I'm gonna be in the booth by myself." I'm chilling. Have a blast. No, we don't need the speed title on national TV on a regular. No, basis. We God don't. no. Keep that. I'm gonna say I hate that title. By the way, you don't like the speed championship? Hell no! It looks stupid. It looks like a fucking speedometer. It looks horrible. That's the whole point. It's speed. I get it, but it's like they could have did something else with it. Could have done better than that. Come on, they, the twenty four seven title looked better than that. No, I ain't gonna lie. I, I... Look, that belt grew on me. Shut up. No, <laughs> no. Our truth made that belt look. I will great. say, we know our truth made. He's the greatest champion in the history. He's, no, you gotta say it right. He's the I forty nine. 7-Eleven, 48-7. No, he said 40. Was it 48-7 or 48-9? It was 48-7 European TV champion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Look, he'll ricochet he made, would be going. Yes. He made that championship. Yeah, he'll ricochet would be going. That would be awesome. Bring back he'll ricochet. 
I think it was like that in the Indies. If I'm not, I think it was a heel in the Indies. He, he X, called he one of the shows he was, he was for sure. He can change he the name back. Change the name back to Prince Puma. Boom, boom, ba, boom, boom. I mean, he can change the name back to Prince Puma. Come back with the mask. I on wish again. Joey had that sound effect. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was fun, but. How you gonna get how how can you even see Ricochet as a heel right now with his baby face look? Not only that. There you go. There it is. Yeah, see, as I'm saying, Prince Puma needs to be back as like put the mask back on because he can't. Okay, be if heel. he does that, do not bring out Prince Puma Dark or whatever the fuck it was a vampiro. Oh, oh lord. I I, Never... just, I just thought of something with that. You could have oh, you could have. You could have Samantha turn heel too. Have Samantha just ring the bell and and be like, Ricochet has won the match. <laughs> the Wait a minute. What kind of screw job is this? Right. Someone could go on Twitter and be like, oh, this is a such and such screw job and this, that, and the third. Here's, here's what I think. There's three guys they need to push. And I need to put they need to get pushed soon. I need freaking Finn Balor. Yes. I need yes. Finn Balor back on top. I need oh, yeah, the prince to become king, even though he just got eliminated, but I need him to become king of the mountain yeah, again. That's some bullshit. I need Ricochet, because Ricochet is too doggone talented to be playing cheap, you know, t- taking cheap shots. Being a jobber at, at best. Yeah. It's, it's just, no. And I mean, the man's been on a roll, too, beating the shit out of Lord Forquad and, and Dirty Sanchez. And the third guy is Chad freaking Gable. Whoa, I, I, there's I, actually a rumor. I'm glad you brought that up. Kurt Ang, he is open to have Kurt Angle as be his manager. manager. I I would love to a see heel that. manager at that. So man, it's all coming clear. Like we're getting the Creed brothers. Yeah. They're about to turn heel. Join Gable. Where they been at? Somewhere. They've been chilling, right? Like they ain't been really somewhere. Seen- yeah, they just chilling. Okay, they need I figured. better ring gear. That's for damn sure. That I hope they could do basic well, ass college wrestling crap is not man, gonna they go. Co- they collegiate wrestlers. What you want yeah, to I do? I get it, but it's like put some stars, put some American bullshit on there. But every this man literally coming out and playing but, but, crap. But everybody's wanted to do the college collegiate look after Kurt Angle. It's yeah, over. I it's really. It. It's really over. No, I'm saying it's really overdone nowadays. Yeah. Especially like since we got rid of finally after all this time, Gabriel Stevenson is finally gone from WWE. Yeah, thank God. Oof. You know, like I, I, I had such high hopes for him, and I wanted. I, I, I had high hopes for him because it's just like you know I want the kid to succeed, but he just wasn't improving. It's like he shit he, the bed. Right, he just wasn't getting. Am against Damian Kemp. That's all I gotta say. Oh. NXT on the ground, baby. That match was that match was terrible. He ass. That match horrible. was terrible. I, I, I thought I thought it was another Brock Lesnar match all over again with all them German suplexes. That's all. Oof. <laughs> yes, we know the three eyes are dick. Yeah, that'd be great if you could bring that back to the WWE. That would be fun. I, that'd be I'm hilarious. Not gonna... nah. But you could you couldn't take Kurt seriously if that was the case. Yeah. If you want to go, you know what you need to bring back? Perk Angle. But transform it the Perk Gable. Bro, if we get a Perk Gable, we got issues. That would be awesome. Could you think Perk Gable? He's already doing crazy shit as it is. Did you see that? Did you watch the other night? Did you watch it the other night? That man picked up freaking Bronson Reed. Oh, yeah. No issue. Into that German suplex. Yeah. He dead. I hope you saw that. That is freaking unreal yeah perk? it was dead dead lip just... perk gable <laughs> gable <laughs> perk gable this needs to be a this needs to be a hashtag by the way perk gable it's, it's probably perk. gonna be it's probably trending no lie <laughs> like no cap why not perk gable like those we three, need perk those gable. three names those three dudes need to get championships around the yeah. ways 
Like and, and they need this well, Baylor just burped on. And I need them to stop school. screwing Jay Uso and in, in LA night. Uh, stop screwing them, please. Stop. Yeah, screwing. look. The Jay Uso thing, right? Did Here's how I feel. Did you see that though? That fucking interest was fucking. That was the most the interest of this was interest. this was literally the hypest moment of the show. This should have been the entrance for fucking WrestleMania. Yeah. But, you know, people were just bored at that point. And France is like, okay, hold my beer or whatever. Hold my wine. Sure enough, comes out. They're all doing it. Even, well, McAfee wasn't there. But I'm sure somewhere at his house, he was doing the yeet. He was yeeting and all that stuff. But, yeah, no. Um, Jay Uso, I hate to say it. Yeah, hold my crumpet. Jay Uso is a tag team wrestler. Oh, I don't, man. I don't see him as a single. Like I don't see him. I don't see it. Are you talking about Jay as a single superstar? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, see I, it. I'm not on that hype train with him by himself. I'm not. Now, I, early I'm, night? I'm down for at least one singles run as champion, even if it's just the okay. Well, then what title would you put on him then? I would give him the Intercontinental Championship. I would give him that. I, I would give him that would be a bad match. It'll be a great match, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think that would be a decent match. And if he done right. Play. I would give him, like, 90 days. Give him straight up 90 days as champion. And yeah, then, U.S. title, too. Right. Either one of them. Either one of them and be done with it. 90 days straight both. up. And then drop it off. And then Jimmy comes back in. Back yeah, to the Jimmy's, Jimmy's injured right now, right? Yeah. Cool. Isn't he injured? injured? Or he's on vacation. Or where he's on vacation. He finna feud with Jake at the backlash. Watch. Wait, which one? LA Knight or, or uh, Jay I Uso? I vote to give Team of BC all the titles in WWE. I said, team. Joe, you're fired. That's it. You're fired. That That's it. I've had enough of all y'all bullshit because it started with that jackass over there looking all days and confused on fucking Facebook. We're going to sit there and fucking, hey, hey, here's an idea. Search up ABC matches. It's, it's going to be great. Hey, look, I ain't going to lie to you. If they go to Saudi Arabia and do a greatest Royal Rumble or WrestleMania, ABC needs to be premiered. They need to jump ship and go straight. <laughs> Team ABC needs to go straight to the you top. You can't even stay on a straight face. Man, you Dan, can't even, because you know damn well. Dan, no, it's not about that. No, Dan, it's Dan, not a, a. Dan. It's not that. Hold on, Clarence. It's not that Clarence can't Why are you so close to the face. camera? Hold Good on, Lord. Because, because Your head's already point. big enough. You don't even have an old damn camera. I've proven a point. It's not that Clarence can't keep a straight face. It's just oh, no. the thought of ah, yeah, ABC. Heck. It's just, it's just the thought of Team ABC brings Clarence so much happiness. <laughs> I get thrilled to hear ABC. I don't he know really about it. more of a fan think, of ABC on, or Nia think, Jax. Hold on. Think about this. G.O.D. versus Usos versus ABC in a tables, ladders, and chairs match to give yeah. us what we've been looking for in the stall. Think about the match type, my guy. Who better than ABC? Everyone! Just think. Everyone! Just think. Chris First of Canyon. All, hold on. Sh hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why on the fucking hell would you put ABC in a TLC? The, fu the fucked up part is. Fucked up part is. They were actually doing really good because they both, you know, under the age of 30. So, yeah. Sure. Why not? But Why? Why would you even put that in the same lineage as G.O.D. and the Uso? Why? They're legendary. They're, They're bullshit. Legends. They're legends. They're not legends. They They're are the sole reason. Hold on. They are the sole reason Bullet Club ever existed. I'm you trying to be stupid. I've been trying now to just, tell you this. Now you're just. That's it. That's hold it. On. Hold on. It's literally right now. every week. It's the same song and freaking day. Right now. It's literally the same crap. Y'all know damn well no, AJ Styles no, you, made no, that now, group okay. better, and you now cannot tell me otherwise. Now I'm saying. Bullshit. If it wasn't for them two, Bullet Club would not have a footprint in TNA. Nope. 
I don't give a dang. Actually, no, that's actually belongs to Jay White, but sure. I, I don't give a dang. I don't give a dang what that man did. I don't care what Tama and Tonga Loa did when they was over there. They yep. did Jack. I forgot Squat. they were in TNA. If if it wasn't for ABC, TNA would not be doing what they're doing right now. They went to pay, They paved the way for David Finley to be quote unquote the leader of Bullet Club. Okay. And okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How the hell they had a pool of David F- David Fitley? I'm gonna say David Flair. <laughs> David Fitley. All of America. <laughs> no, they do not have a footprint. You know who has a footprint of all America? You want to know who's got? You want to know it? You want to know it? I wish Joey had the theme song. This man, Joe Hendry. Not that song. <laughs> no. Joe yes. Hendry, Joe Hendry is trash. Joe Hendry is the man. He no. can outdo both ABC. ABC one two three is bullshit. Anyway, Thanks, Kylie. <laughs> he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We got full blown house house music. <laughs> no man, like ABC be running things, man. Like no, I mean, no, 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 no. They no. run things. Joe Hendry be running things. Man, look, I ain't, look. I'm Joe not about Hendry to jump on Joe Hendry's dick on TNA this. No, I'm not champion. about to do that. He is our first ballot Hall of Famer in both WWE, AEW, and TNA combined. You can look at me stupid. Look, I countered y'all now. Say their name. No, we. Do, I do not believe in ABC. Shut up. Say their name and they appear. I believe in ABC. See? There you go. There you go. See? A, B, C, Crocker, C. Crocker, play that theme one more time if you don't mind. Just for clarity. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Because love London and Paris and Tokyo. America, Scotland and Canada and Max. <laughs> like it's on speed. <laughs> I'm like doing, it's on speed. I'm doing two times the speed to try and... I'm doing two, <laughs> time, I'm doing two times the speed to try and... Uh, trick the uh, copyright oh. shit. <laughs> oh my god. We know what it says, David. What the D- fuck? D- D- the sneak says, say their name, say their name, and they appear. I believe in ABC. I do not. I'm sorry, I don't. Tripping, bro. Think about the. Do you understand? Edge and Christian, the, the Dudley boys and the Hardy boys, they gave us that match all those years ago. Yep. Yeah. G O D ABC. And and the Usos in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Yeah, you know what? You know unbe- what? For That's the great. tag team championships, the, yep. the WWE walked, so ABC tag team run. Champions. Look at that. They walked. So you know ABC what? You know who did run. it by himself? He could take all. He could take all of them on. Joe Hendry. God, Joe Hendry's trash. I don't care what anybody. ABC says. is trash. No, nowhere close. ABC is trash. Them I'm dude. Sorry. I will go on the limb and say they don't even deserve to be doing fucking too sweet. But you, you just, to you just, you mad you know that you, you know what? Do I even, I even put it like this. I even put it like this. Just, just sweet. Sweet. Yes. 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 Why are you such a hater? Man, for some reason... For some, no, 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 Dad, hold on. Hold your thought. Hold your thought. Hold oh, your thought. Yeah, yes. hurt your hand. No, okay. for some reason... Anyway, just... yeah, whatever. Shove it up your ass. Anyway, <laughs> you want to know why Bullet Club Day was horrible this past Friday? Because ABC wasn't there. No, no, that's exactly why. They were selling ABC merch. And I bet oh, you it sold huh? out, didn't it? It sold out instantly. It, it sold out, didn't it? Yeah, I bet. Just like Joe Hendry stuff sold out instantly. Just like Joe Hendry Steam right now is number one on iTunes. No, it's in not. UK. In UK. No, it's not. Hold on. No, it's not. I know you lying. 
You can't it, it, actually, he's not lying. It is like on the ch other top ten charts in the UK. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Staggerly Crocker. Oh my God, you wouldn't even know how to too sweet if it wasn't for ABC. Believe in ABC. There's believe no way. In them. Yes. There's no way. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you, it is. You know, if you so, look, if you look into one it, more time for the viewers at home. Hit but, that lovely. But, but if you look into it more, the uh, team ABC started at the NWO. Yes. Yes. You're for, fired, Crocker. Get out of here. Some You're done. You're over with. They invented a time machine and went back and they found it, the NWO. So and it, and it's better reason, than ever. So for some reason, when my daughter's watching, like, alphabets and shit, when I hear ABC, my hand just cramps. Like, I just, oh, God. I just, just can't want to do flip. It just makes you want to do flippy stuff, doesn't it? Flippy stuff. No fists, just flips. Just... just Oh, All right, revival. <laughs> Shit. Oh God. Oh, I don't know why you said that. I don't know why you said that. I hate this tag team so much. I ABC really do. is the reason WCW it's, went it's, out of business. I like you. I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. I, I love you. You you're great, but like you picking you picking like FTR over ABC. What the? You did right. Wrong with you? It's bullshit, dude. You. I'd rather see ABC wrestle than see the freaking Heart Foundation wrestle. Like, are you even a true wrestling fan, Nick? Like, you tell me not to say that. I, I, I mean, you I'd know, rather you watch I mean, it you, you know, Team ABC is really the brothers of destruction. Kane yeah, Undertaker, brothers of fucking destruction. It's not the case. Yeah, they're not. Undertaker, that's Kane. disrespectful <laughs> right there. Let me tell you something. If they wanted to, if they wanted to, ABC could literally they they should be the number one tag team in the world. When they're when not Hulk, the number one tag team, when Hulk world. and Animal was around, the yeah. reason why they were so popular is because of them too. That yeah. was the only reason. Yeah, you, you they would never be in the same building because the Legion of Doom was always intimidated. You know, but, you know, you know. I heard Team ABC actually beat up Haku and Ming and Barbarian yeah, and yeah. everybody. Uh, yeah, where beat you heard that bitch. from? <laughs> like a bitch. He even yeah. made Bam Bam Bigelow's bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They called him Bam Bam Bitch. <laughs> yeah, Bam Bam Bitch. Get out of here. Yeah. Big boss man. <laughs> Big boss bitch. Oh, the yeah. bam. Oh, the bam. Oh, the Bam Bam Bitch is back to the show. Oh, Crocker, Crocker. Yeah. Put me, put me back. Ace with Austin. Me back Ace Austin. Austin apparently hit Haku with the right hand and knocked him out. But what he did was when he was on the ground unconscious, he put the plane, the Bullet Club playing card on him. That was his mark. Like this he, is what happened. Well, to you, 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 you know that. You know, you know the Joker actually took the uh, playing card gimmick from him. He. That's right, because it would have been about two thousand nine. Yeah. Dog. Yeah, the Dark Ace. It wasn't the Dark Knight. It was the Dark Ace. You know why I Cody Rhodes is world champion all. right now? It's because Ace Austin gave him all the courage to do that. Yep. Yep. So you're saying Ace Austin is the original Gambit from X-Men? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's anything that you want him to be. That's the thing. And I just thought that you thought, failed let me, let me to understand that. Let me ask you a question, Nick. Did you really think that that was freaking uh, Undertaker in the ring that choke slammed? The Rock when Cody won? No, that yeah. was Chris Bay who went in there, took care of business, and helped him win that. So, so yeah. you're saying Kane is actually Ace Austin? Yeah, you're fucking stupid. Dude yeah, Jesus. Hey, and look, look, Deke the Sneak's true. Joker says Deke, you you're know? literally encouraging him. Stop it. No, no, hold on. Stop it. He says you want to know how it. he got these scars? Ace Austin. That card, that playing card went shink right and. You know the hardcore title. Oh. Made, the hardcore title was made specifically for Ace right. Austin. Yeah, just just like the twenty four seven title was made for Chris Bay, though, right? Yeah, no, they, that's a they, bitch belt. That's a bitch belt. They, ABC deserves high praise on everything. Just like Joe Hendry. No, nobody cares. Yes. About Joe Hendry. Nobody. I don't cares see why him. you hate Joe Hendry. Why you he hate can't. Joe Hendry? Because he's not Chris Bay, he's not. You don't, you don't believe in Joe Hendry. You should believe no. in Joe Hendry. No, I believe in ABC, who are the seven-time tag team champions of IW, the IWGP, you know, tag team champions. They're the freaking yeah, w really. 
They're the reason they were the first inaugural inaugural WWE tag team champions. They were the guys who literally put Hulk Hogan oh, on the freaking wait, 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 okay, 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 okay. No, just stop right there. I'm gonna have to stop it right there. This is just getting out of hand. It's getting ridiculous at this point. Stop it. Okay. I'm being stop serious. It. Like And I'm being know. serious. Stop it. Oh god. I don't know why this How it wasn't even thought of. How on God's green earth? You don't. They weren't a physical in WWE tag team. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They weren't a physical entity on this planet, but the world still knew that ABC was coming. It was prophesied. Okay, they, all right. They were let's, celestial. Let's, let's, let's move on before I have a brain aneurysm and just. They and the trans- cure for that is ABC. Transcendent. Wait, what? They transcended gender and were the first ever women's tag team champs. They won everything. I forgot no belt that. was off limits to these guys. That. I forgot about that. Really. I mean, literally. I really did. All right, let 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 let's move on. Let's move on before I end up catching an aneurysm and and literally have us literally get hurt on 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 stream. Oh shit! What else you need, bro? What else you I need? mean, it's eleven o'clock. Do you want to keep talking more ABC? I, no, I, I don't. No, nah, man, because that's all. That's all we got now. That's all we got. It's, yeah, it's, it's them too. Shows that, that, yeah, like, fabulous. Like, it's, a, it's eleven o'clock. Chris Bay. Like, I want to go and dream about ABC right now. Like, I'm. I yeah. got sleep. I got. I got work in a few hours. Like, all I'm yeah. thinking about is Chris Bay and Ace Austin going to WrestleMania in Saudi Arabia, winning tag team gold once again. Proving that they are the best tag team on the hey, Clarence, Clarence, when you wake up. Oh morning, my God. So Dean hey. literally said Adam Cole stole Bay Bay from Chris Bay. That's it. But hey, Clarence, I want you to wake up in the morning before you go to work. I want you to text me the dream you had about ABC. In return, I will text you the dream I had about ABC. No problem. I got you. I appreciate it. No problem. I got you. Oh, and they so, the last oh, one on hold on. podcast episode hold with on. these two idiots right here. Hey, let y'all know. As of a producer, we will be ending. This is our last show ever. <laughs> we will be ending the podcast. But we we're, we're we're ending the podcast, but we're rebooting it to start the Team ABC podcast. ABC, <laughs> black. Hey, hey. <laughs> Nick's personalized fan letters on Instagram to Ace Austin and Chris Bay still have not been responded to. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey. they don't want nothing to do with you. So, guys, guys, our lovely viewers out there, and he's our, <laughs> our esteemed host, our lovely host, all four of them are telling us black album. He, he, wrote, it, he wrote Chris Bay a very heartfelt letter. And it says, "You're the idiot that wrote it, not me." Hey, Chris, my I'm name right is Nick Boudreau. Shit. Hey, Chris, my name is Nick Boudreau, and I just wanted to say that you and Ace Austin are the best tag team champions since the Road Warriors. <laughs> if it wasn't for y'all, the NWA would never exist. When I think of lineage of good tag teams, I don't think Demolition or Money Inc. or the Heart Foundation. I chose ABC. The night. Rolling Stones got their start. Because of ABC. Yep. That dude. What the fuck? Now y'all just being ridiculous at this point. Swear to God, I'm going to end this fucking shit. Someone, wanted, someone in this chat that knows Nick personally, I want him to have a personalized Nick Loves Team ABC shirt delivered to him. For him to wear it at a wrestling show. Oh, I'll, I'll wear it all right. You, you know, Ace, I'll wear it. You know, Ace Austin is actually the uh, the spirit of Elvis Presley is in him. Yes. Chuck Norris is even scared of Ace Austin. Thanks, Game King. <laughs> Nick is getting pissed. <laughs> I mean, fuck, the King of Pop wrote a song about them. He was so happy Ace and Chris came to him. A, B, C. It's easy as though, right? That's it. That was it. All along, that was the subliminal message about Austin, Ace Austin and Chris Bay. 
<laughs> on that note, guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think Nick's out. We never you got because we got so wrapped up in ABC, we never discussed backlash. <laughs> no, we never did. Barely, <laughs> barely. <laughs> Hey, you ABC loving piece of shit. You get back here. We got a podcast to wrap up. And then we're going to go watch ABC tribute wanna, videos. I don't want to live on a planet where there's no ABC. Exactly. Who doesn't need who See, doesn't thank want you ABC? for being so vocal in the chat, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. You know what? If they only knew how much they love that they got from us alone... This world would be a better place, man. Man, dog, I'm telling you. Hey, man, like, it's all right. I know you're probably crying in the corner, fetal position and everything, just just wishing that you could be them. He went to the bathroom to r- rinse his face because the emotion overtook him. I just realized something, too. That is. So, oh my this God. month, towards the end of this month, can you hear me, by the way? Yeah. This is great. Nick is just jealous because his name that starts with with a not uh, okay, whatever. Fuck your comment. Anyway. Uh, that's how I think about that. I'm getting a Russell Crate, right? And the theme is tag team, well, right? We pray <laughs> We pray that's team ABC. I swear to God, if it's a fucking ABC merch. <laughs> You thought the Jeff Jarrett, the, the when when, the, when are you getting it? <laughs> Micro Brawler was bad. When are you getting it? Yeah, when are you get this? Or is it end of May? Okay, at the end of May, you need to post on the next podcast, whatever, and you need to show us what's in the box. Please do. <laughs> if there is no ABC stuff in the crate. You should demand a refund. Demand the refund. Yes. Donnie, I'll be you- seeing your ass this Saturday, you son of a bitch. Hey, the Nick. 82 jacket, the 83 jackass is on. Which, by the way, you can see me, Big Daddy Cool Metzger, another idiot. You're you're Metzger on. now. Who? What are you Metzger? <laughs> yeah, not, you can see me, Big Daddy Metzger. <laughs> oh, me with Big Daddy Cool Metzger. Oh, gotcha. Uh, oh, you. Another one is gonna egg me on my fucking ABC shit. And of course. This jackass in a damn comment, dig the sneak. You can catch us at Movement Six. That man said, "Only men on Earth I'm scared of is ABC." <laughs> you know they said that I here the tonight was scared of Team ABC. Why do you Why do you not think y'all see as many alligators in the swamps of Louisiana? Yeah, because they walk through the swamps. Why do you think that China was the nice one in the world? Because Ace Austin gave her that name. Yeah. It, that was the whole reason. That was it. China literally was like, I have no nickname. I'm, what am I going to come out as just China? He was the eighth one in the world because of just what he was packing. Like, yeah. dog. Like, this man yeah. was packing juice like it was nobody's business. Like, that yeah. man had, he he's got the juice, bro. All right, y'all thought go. y'all thought Hoovy was the juice? No, dude, Ace Austin. Okay, that's, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful because somewhere in heaven, the juice is gonna pull your damn toes. <sighs> that comment. Man, look, all I'm gonna say, my last little comment, I'm gonna tell you right now. If it wasn't for Ace Austin, why you look so concerned? I'm just because going to tell you that's how heartfelt and passionate he is about this. I'm going to tell you right now. If it wasn't for Ace Austin, we wouldn't, have any, we wouldn't have had Eddie Guerrero. That's no. the great man that he was. I know that. No, we're going to wrap up the podcast. Thank you guys so much for checking out this brand new episode. Oh, Viva la ABC. Who <laughs> ain't dead yet, brother? Yeah. What the thing? Who ain't dead? Yeah. Hoovy ain't dead, and it's Viva La ABC. Viva Tune in next week whenever I go solo on this podcast. <laughs> Thank, thanks to these three idiots. And the one jackass in the comment just egging it on. <laughs> thanks so oh, much, bro. <laughs> I hate TNA because of, of these two jackasses right here. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, Uh-oh. look, bro. Don't be mad that LaParka was actually Chris Bay the whole time. So, <laughs> so, so to review Backlash real quick, uh, Team ABC won all the titles at Backlash. Yeah, they win. They they won all the matches, including the women's. Yeah, including the women's. Why the fuck do you want a women's title? Why not? <laughs> That's just one more you accolade on their show of achievements. Come on, man. Yeah, spit that drink. Yeah. <laughs> Right out of nice your mouth. Follow. That 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 sounds horrible, dude. He's mad that, again. That's he, he's mad again because he can because he stand a what the fuck? He stands like uh, Eminem stand. Oh, oh, like Eminem stand. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he stand A B C and they yeah. <laughs> man, look, bro. I watched the Laparka match and I knew it was Chris Bay when that man flew over the top rope. All I saw was legs jingling, like he was just jingling his leg around and stuff. Why are you looking at that man's leg? Why the fuck are you looking at that man's leg like that? <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. Cal- calm down, P Diddy. Calm down over there. No, hey, it's no the Diddy, Diddy, bro. It's the no Diddler. Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. The, the, <laughs> it's the Diddler. Easy, P, P Diddy. <laughs> the, the diddler. diddler. The diddler. <sighs> I'm I done. Hate you all. Clarence said, "I'm going to bed. I have dreams to dream." I got ABCs to count. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go count my ABCs. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this brand new episode of What a Cafe Podcast. Please follow us on Twitch to see me rage more. <laughs> Check on over to Twitch TV. Forward slash Nick Venom. That way you don't miss any of my stuff on there. Because I'll be back on Twitch by myself. ABC free. Because they these two idiots right here. Also, you can check me, like I said earlier. Check me out at PWT25. Movement 6 is going on in, at the Cecilia uh, Junior High School. Can't miss that. It's going to be awesome. Mesk is going to be there. Deke's going to be there, or Donnie, he'll be there, uh, along with his uh, good friend as well, which, by the way, Donnie, uh, message me on Facebook, because, uh, yeah, I got to talk to you about something. Anyway, <laughs> who forwarded? it? That wasn't me. That wasn't me, bro. That was Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Joey hey. queefed. Hey. hey. Fuck now, nah, fucked up. Shit. <laughs> Can't do this no more. Dude, you are fucked up, I can Anyway. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to do the outro. All right. Also, that's fine. Also, if you missed the live feed, Check us out on YouTube forward slash Water Cafe Podcast. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our stuff whenever we upload a video. Also, for those who are ever in Houston, in the Houston area, catch the one, the only Game King at RCW. You can't wait. Is it RCW? R-O-W. <laughs> R-O-W, R-O-W, R-O-W. Why did I say RCW? <laughs> R-O-W, I'm sorry, R-O-W, catch him over there, he'll be fagging and banging, creaming over ABC bullshit, and, uh, exactly, exactly, you sick bastard, anyway, and for that, follow us on all of our social media platforms, and with that being said, this is your tribal king, Nick Bell, along with my two good friends, the Game King, and Dan Mother F Man, and even though he's not there, the one, the only, the Professor, the bionic professor, COVID mania himself, Stanley Crocker, and we are out. Good night, Ace Austin and Chris Bay. ABC, baby. ABC. ABC. It's easy. It's one, two, three. And we're out here. Gentlemen, as you know, the ultimate yeah. warrior. Fuck it. It's publicly stated that... Damn it, who put that up? Is that $200 an hour? That's all. Oh, me gusta.